Good afternoon, students. In today's lab, we will learn how to design the Android Studio application that can run on mobile. So you can see the output on screen. Thank you. There are two versions. One is day version. One is night version. So today's lecture is that how we can design an application in which you can see just a text on screen on your mobile nothing more than text so the activity you're going to perform today is that how to arrange a text on screen of the mobile so let's start with it just click on file from file click on new project and you will get a screen over there and from the screen select empty activity and click next so when you click next you will see a new window in that window give any name let's say my mobile app Whatever name you give over here, same name occur in the package name. You can see in the name we have my space mob space app, whereas there's no space in between the package name. So it's not allowed over here. So next you see the location. This is the default location where the application gets saved, or you can change the location as per your choice. So the language we are going to use in it for designing is Java. We have used the SDK as of Android 5.1 Lollipop. So what this means that 92.3% of Android app, uh, devices can use this application when it's get developed. So make it on finish. Now you see such type of new window will appear when you create a new uh, file name as my mob app this is the name of our application such type of window will appear so there are two files one is xml file one is java file xml file is for designing java file is for coding click on xml click on text some get some text over here so how to increase the size of text go to coding click on the code so first of all change the text over here this is my first app. i have changed the content you can see the design over here in the design see because the size is small it's not readable so again go to code come over here press enter write text in small words not capital letters small letters t x t from here select size write over here 40. So select the size go to design my first tab you can now is readable to you now First so, you want to give some color to it? Again, go to code, press enter, write text, select some color, select the color, whatever color you want to give, give color to it. I want some alignment also. A right text alignment select over here i want it to be center fine so i change the text this is my first app size is 40 color is black and it's alignment is center let's go to design so this is now quite visible this is how it can appear now how to run it you know, if i click over here on the run option 
take some time and give the option install build to region 31.0.0 is corrupted remove and install again using the SDK message. So how to get out of it? Click over here. Project structure. Click on modules. From here, SDK changed from 31 to 30. Build tools version from 31 to 30.0.3. Then click on default config. Change it from 31 to 30. Apply. Take some time. Okay. Just now processing will take some time. Okay, build successful. So our application is built successfully. So you can run it. So when you run it, you check it. Is there any error over there? So build successful in eight seconds. This is how we can design up our application using Android Studio, in which we have designed an application, a mobile application, in which when you run the application on mobile, you will just see the text on it, nothing more than that. Because today's lecture of the lab is just to print some text on screen of the mobile. So this is how we can perform it. That's it. So one is the XML, one is the Java. XML is for design and then Java is for the coding. So this is how we can form and build the application. When we run the application on the mobile or on an emulator, we will see that we will get the output something like this. This is how we can perform an application write and content on mobile security. I hope you understand the concept of how to write and content on mobile security. Slowly, steadily, we move further and introduce more concept of interest. Thank you for joining us.